My mom listened to kind of the soft hits radio, and I think the stuff that I kind of gravitated towards most was like Dan Fogelberg, you know, leader of the band. That was a killer song. And like Jim Croce, um, you know, operator, well, can you help me his call? And, uh, and like John Denver, um, you know, I lived in West Virginia for a little while, so it was like, country road, take me home. I used to sing that song as we were like coming back from vacation and stuff. So, I mean, it was those kind of like balladeer type guys that I definitely um, related to, I think. And in my mind, once I started doing my own music, um, I was always kind of coming from that sort of perspective, kind of a singer songwriter, balladeer um, perspective. And uh, and not uh, when I first came at it, I was not necessarily coming at it from a country perspective so much as just sort of a general singer songwriter perspective. Um, and you know, these days I've got a lot more appreciation for country music and what it is and the history of it. And and I definitely consider myself a country artist and am happy to be in that camp. But I, I do think I come at it from the perspective of a person who loves and identifies with all kinds of music. And hopefully that makes my particular brand of country music a little bit more universal. Um, because that's not all I listen to or all I like. And, and I try to deal with themes that are broader than, than what's usually covered in country music. Yeah, it's not all just beer and tailgates. And in mine, pretty fingers that fit just fine. And we walk down where the river gives a 